Hello, Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile. Today I'm going to go over the top things in our newsletter for April 5th, 2022. All right, item number one, we have a special kit for all you knitters and it's called the Adam Adam Autumn Gratitude Cowl. And this is the Autumn Gratitude Cowl right here. So some of you, at least those who are part of our subscription knit box service, you have seen this before because this was designed for one of our knit boxes. Well, now it's six months later, so we're actually putting it together as a super saver kit for those people who didn't get a knit box. Now, if you're curious to know the value, well, the value is over $70. The kit price, it's actually in the newsletter. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it is more than what our knit box was. Our knit boxes run $35. And for those of you who are interested, we do pack our knit boxes in general with lots of great things and the value um, is always there. So if you're interested in one of our knit boxes, if you go to our website, makersmercantile.com and in the search box just simply type in subscriptions it will take you to our knit box you can sign up at just about any time and then of course if you don't like it for any reason at all you can cancel at any time as well okay moving right along so we have the autumn gratitude cow that's this cow right here telling you a little bit let me tell you a little bit about the cow um first of all it's two-sided so this is one side as you can see here and then if you turn it inside out, it almost looks totally different. There you go. So um, with this cowl, we used two different yarns. Um, one is called Unisono and one is called Herbstwind. They are both yarns that come from uh, Zitron and they're both merinos and I think the comparison probably ends there. Um, they complement each other very well. The Unisono looks like this. So it is the variegated yarn that we are using. There you go. Um, oop, we got the yarn hanging in the way. Um, it's called Unisono. It's beautiful, beautiful variegated yarn. 100% superwash merino. Look at that twist. It's got a little hair hanging there. It has a really nice twist that gives it a lot of spring. Anyways, that is the multi that you're gonna be using on both sides. So you can see it has a pretty long gradient depending on which color you have, but um, you just use it straight all the way through because the way that the cowl is actually knit is you cast on with your one complementary color, you do one side of your work, then you do a garter ridge, and then you continue the other side of the work with your second complementary color. So in this case, um, this colorway, which we are keeping because it was very popular, um, we are calling it now, what are we calling it? Falling leaves. So that takes the unisono, this one right here, that I was just showing you, and it uses a gold on one side and then a brown on the other side. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about Hapsvind. Hapsvind actually means fall wind, um, but this yarn in particular is a merino from Tasmania. So it is super, super soft. And why is that? Well, in Tasmania, the sheep get to roam wherever they want. They are they're not uh, restricted whatsoever. And then once a year, they gather all the sheep and then they shear them. All the grasses that are there, they're all organic because none of the chemicals that we use in, in most countries have ever been allowed in Tasmania. So it is a very, very pure wool. Anyways, it's also super, super soft. And this color is gonna be hard to show you the twist, but let me show you this one. It also has that great twist on it. There you go. Okay, so this is one colorway and it is called uh, Falling Leaves. Then we have several other colorways for you. This one, I have to look at my notes, sorry. This one is called Morning Dew and it utilizes this beautiful pastel color right there. Um, it has a little bit of pink, blue, aqua, and so on in it. And then one side will be using this beautiful uh, dark raspberry, almost burgundy Merlot color and then the other side will be using this gray. So uh, if you want true pastel, there you go. If you want to pop, you use that side and you wear it on that side. But this colorway here, morning dew. Now, moving right along, we have one that is called Garden Path. So Garden Path 
Now, mind you, look at these colors. They look a little odd in the beginning, but I'll tell you, they grow on you. And I think it, you know, they're just going to be a magnificent cow. So here you go. You've got your um, your green and chartreuse unisono. Okay. Now, to tone out, to tone it down a little bit, you can mix it with this color right here. Now, I don't know if you want to call that a taupe or if you want to call that, it's not really a gray, um, it's more of an oatmeal, I guess you could say. So there you go, that would be one side and that would be really natural looking. Then on the inside, or you could do it the other way around if you want to wear vibrant on the outside, you've got this fantastic pop of color, look at that. So you put those two together and that's like full, Woo, um, on one side. So there you go. This is our second option, and this is called Garden Path, or our third option. So one, you saw the flower one, and then we have our fourth option, which is called Fresh Cut. So look at these colors. Now, these colors are really, really bright. So um, I think Fresh Cut is a lovely name for it. Um, to tone this down, if you want it toned down a little bit, on one side, you're going to use this gray right here. Um, that, as you can see, tones it down, but makes it look absolutely lovely. And then for the inside or the outside again, you're going to get this great pop of color. And then we have these two colors right here, which is a great pop of color. So there you go. Those are our four colorways that we have available. They all come with um, two balls of the Hapsvent, one ball of the Unisono. You're going to get your 24-inch US6 Rocket Squared Needle in your kit as well, and your pattern. So you're getting all that in your in your Super Saver kit. We have a limited amount of kits available. So if you're interested, grab one now. When they're sold out, they are um, sold out. There you go. Okay, moving right along, you can see right over here, I have a beautiful array of buttons. And you know, this is less than 1% of the 1% of the buttons that we have. So we have a lot of buttons and we keep them stocked. Um, we have buttons that are made out of metal. We have buttons that are made out of resin. Um, we have leather, we have plastic, we have Corozo, which is a nut. Um, we have Czech glass buttons, which nowadays aren't made in Czechoslovakia anymore, which doesn't exist. It's now called the Czech Republic, but they are now made um, down in Southern Germany. There's a huge uh, Czech population and they have actually carried on the tradition down there. So uh, we got lots of different types of buttons. We've got some antique buttons. We've got pearl buttons. We have buttons made out of shell, coconut shell, a Goya shell, all different kinds. So there you go, lots of different buttons. They are all featured online. And then the vast majority of them, I'd say about 95% of them, are also featured in this um, catalog right here. So this catalog, uh, there is a button in the newsletter. If you click on it, we will send you a catalog. And uh, if you're interested, just to let you know, all of the buttons on the inside of our catalog. So here you go, here's one page. These are all dark buttons. What are what? Horn, there you go. We have horn buttons, one thing I didn't mention. Notice all these buttons are in different sizes as they're printed. That's because they're printed in their true size. So if it is a 15 millimeter button, it's going to be printed at 15 millimeters in here. If it's available as a 15, 30, and 45 millimeter, we will print the 15, 30, and 45 millimeter button. And then of course, we'll list what the size is too. But that way you get a better visual um, of the button that you're looking for. So remember, we do have our button catalog. It is free and uh, you just have to click on the button <laughs> inside the newsletter to get the button catalog and then you can check out all the beautiful buttons that we have. We also have listed in the newsletter another little thing that we sell that I think a lot of people aren't too familiar with as I bend over here and grab them. Um, and that is we have a lot of different leather tags. So this leather tag here, as you can see, this is, do I have it right side? This is a little round handmade tag. It can get sewn into the back of your work. You could put it onto a piece of ribbon, sew it onto the inside of your work. Um, you can do lots of different things with it. And this handmade button, button it's a leather patch, I'm sorry. Um, it can actually be used uh, for sewing. It can be used for knitting, crochet, whatever you want. We also have these, this type. When you purchase this type, you actually get two in a package. Um, these are great for putting on the bottom of bags so that they, uh, you know, when they hit the, the ground, it 
you know, isn't quite getting all the material on the ground, but they also are great for all different type of other things. And this particular handmade button also comes um, in a red. I didn't have one that was out of the package in the red, but it also comes in a red. So you'll have to check it out. Oh, and we also have itsy bitsy teeny weeny ones. Look at these. These are um, it's a bitsy teeny weeny ones right there that say handmade on them. These would be really great for children's clothing. I dropped it because it has a little uh, baby face on it as well. Anyways, those are our handmade buttons. Another thing that we have in today's newsletter, um, of course, is our knit night, which is this evening. And uh, it is at five, from five to 6 p.m. That is Pacific time. So no matter where you are, you're gonna have to figure that part out. Um, so five Pacific time. And we have a guest tonight and her name is Jody McDougall. Now Jody McDougall makes fantastic, it is McDougall. God, I better make sure I get this right. It is McDougall. Um, I have a couple of pieces. She makes jewelry because Kyle um, knows how much I love glass jewelry and he has been kind enough to gift me a few of the pieces. But we're gonna let her tell you all about her process tonight. Let me tell you though, it, it has to do with Murini, which she will explain to you what those are and how she slices them and how she creates these beautiful figures and shapes and so on inside of the Murini. Um, and after she slices them, you see the shape. Anyways, she will go over how she does that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's done with lamp working. She might be using a little fusing in there. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited to talk and uh, find out how she does these things. So I do believe that is it for today, for April 5th. We will see you again this coming Friday. Now remember, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we will be in Bellevue at the Seattle Vogue Knitting Live. So if you are a local person, please do come. It is a free marketplace. There's more information about it online. And um, boy, I think that's about it. Uh, have a wonderful week and we will see you again on Friday. Ciao.